Hey there. In our previous class, we had covered fundamentals of HCF and LCM and had seen how these concepts apply in real life. But do you know the method to calculate or derive HCF or LCM of two or more numbers? Well, this is what Sam here also wants to understand too. We shall soon know the answer, but not before my daily jog. Mr. Roy, I will meet you in the class. Now that Sam is here, we are ready to begin. In today's class, we are going to learn prime factorization method or the prime factor method to derive HCF and LCM of two or more numbers. The rule to remember in this method is that any number can be expressed as product of primes. Can you explain this Mr. Roy? Sure Sam, let me explain through an example. Let's look at a number say 56. It can be expressed as a product of any two factors. Say 2 times 28. Now 2 is a prime number, 28 isn't. Now 28 can be expressed as 2 times 14. We get another 2 as prime number here. And 14 is 2 times 7. And both 2 and 7 are prime numbers. As 56 can no longer be broken or factorized further, we can write it as product of its prime factors. So 56 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 7 and all of these are prime numbers. Now kids, give me two numbers. It could be more than two as well, but let's keep things simple today. With those two numbers, I will show you how to derive HCF and LCM through the prime factorization method. Uh, 36 and 48. All right, 36 and 48 it is then. Let's start with highest common factor or HCF. First, write down both these numbers as product of their prime factors, just as we did for the number 56 earlier. Now, find the common factors from both these sets. Let's see. We have a common 3 here, a 2 which is common as well, and one more 2. Multiply these and we get the HCF of 36 and 48 which is 12. Simple isn't it? Now let's look at lowest common multiple or LCM and see how it can be derived using the prime factorization method. The first step again is to write 36 and 48 as the product of their prime factors. The next step is to write each factor as many times as there are maximum occurrences in the numbers 36 and 48. Can you please elaborate Mr. Roy? Let me explain. In these prime factors here, we have the numbers 2 and 3. 2 appears twice in the number 36 and 4 times in 48. So we write down 2 4 times. Likewise, 3 appears twice in 36 and only once in 48. So we write down 3 2 times. Now we take these 4 2's and 2 3's. Just multiply all these and we get the LCM 
of 36 and 48, which is 144. Hope this was useful. Till we meet again, happy learning and don't forget to subscribe to the channel below. So long, bye bye.